Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to go over how to draw Godzilla vs. King Kong in the uh, Among Us mod. So those versions are gonna be pinned, you know, against each other. So Godzilla on this side, King Kong on this side. Let us get started, okay? I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna draw a curve line down over here for the top of the head. All right, downward here for the front of the eye area and then over here for the, the top of the mouth. Downward here for the front of the snout, pull back for the mouth, pull back right here for the kind of the smile, line, see that over there, over and up for the cheekbone, curve over here, line down, curve on this side, line in right there for the eye right on now we're gonna go to the bottom part over here and we're gonna find the back of the jaw which is very square like pulling up down up here line over here for the nose gonna pull back pull back down here for the neck it's got like a growing neck as it goes down. Let's draw a line right here for the eye. Right on, we're doing good so far. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like uh, any, you know, Godzilla stuff. Absolutely hit the like and uh, kind of lets me know to put more of it, uh, etc. Curve over here for the front of the body. Let's go draw the arm over here. So there's going to be a curve right here for the kind of the front of the shoulder and stuff like that. Pulling out. I'm gonna go over here on this side. Curve here for the back of the arm. And back here, pulling in. Okay, so you have his elbow right there. At the front, we're gonna throw claws, just these three large spikes. Gonna go over here to this side, curve down, out. At the back there, throw spikes as well. Gonna go down his back, okay? Down his back, right there. And then it's gonna pull out for the tail. I'm gonna take it all the way to the end. All right. Gonna go over, oops, let me strengthen that don't forget by the way if you want to learn how to draw anything and everything go to the main website at sketchingeasy.com sketchingeasy.com is the main main website curve over here for the leg curve back here he's got this big tree stump of a leg in forward here I'm gonna go over here and pull the tail back over here to the body and then it's gonna curve up here, right on. So on the foot, a couple of nails right there. Curve over here. Flat part of the foot, nail right there, nail right there. All right, gonna go over here, curve down, curve down. Over here, continue to curve down back in that area. Now we're gonna the line of the stomach, like the snake belly. So we're gonna throw these lines across here. So far, he just looks like a big lizard, right? Which he is, but we're gonna draw the spikes now. Let's start the smallest one right here on the top of the head. We're gonna go over here, I'm gonna, it's like two spikes right there, almost like a cool mohawk. Gonna go over here to this side. This one's gonna look more like a leaf, kinda. It's got three spikes, two on the edge, and one in the middle. Line here, up, down, up, down, up, down, over here. Over here in this area, we're gonna throw another one of those. A little bit smaller though. It looks like a little explosion in his back. It's gonna have 
four prongs over here and it's just gonna get smaller as it goes down right there in the back all the way back there all right pull the nails right there make them full-blown nails and then we're gonna draw some teeth dropping down right here from his mouth Whew. that's pretty much it for Godzilla you can draw little spots right here on this Among Us mod Make little spots like that along the back for texture, maybe another spike over there. Okay, let's go over to King Kong now, all right? Uh, so King Kong's gonna be on this side. And we are, let's say, let's say we're gonna start over here. I'm gonna start with the kind of curved part of the open mouth. It's a curve right there. Line over here for the fangs, you know, the kind of canines. down over here curve underneath up for the, fa the the like the lower teeth right there with the sharp sharpness curve right here curve inside the mouth for the tongue and now i'm gonna fill in the back of the mouth right don't forget to hit the subscribe uh when you subscribe it helps you improve drawing uh even if you just watch the videos even if you just watch them and don't follow along the best thing would be to follow along but even if you just watch them, it helps you improve over time. It kind of helps you work uh, stuff out in your brain already. And you're like, okay, cool, like I'm gonna figure that out. Um, I would say the, the best thing would be to, to draw along though. But you don't wanna be like the way I was at some point where like, let's just say it's next year this time, like a year goes by and you're still the same. And you don't want that. You wanna engross yourself in drawing and art and anything like that. You wanna engross yourself in it and that's how you become uh, better through osmosis and you won't even realize it. I mean, you'll realize it, but you'll be like, oh wow. Lower part of the mouth here. Curve around here, side of the mouth. Let's go to the nose. The nose is right there. It's just a little like, looks like a little heart. Go over to the eyes. His eye looks like a egg or something. Over here. Curve right there for underneath the eye, down the edge of the eye and pull in. Line over here. And then we're gonna keep wrapping this line over there. There you go. Maybe a dot right there for the nostril. We're dealing in like small stuff here because it's like, you know, they're pretty big characters. Go over here up for the top of the head. A Little bit of fluff right there, like a little bit of fluff back down over here okay back down the head I mean, it's at this point you're gonna draw the ear curve line line over here over here on this side curve for the back fluff swoop down the back over here curve right there and he's his rear end is over here pull down there okay we're gonna his arm touching the ground over here. So he's got this huge arm. So we're gonna draw a curve for the bicep area. Another curve right there for his hand touching the ground there. Zigzag right here. Go to the back of the arm over here, tricep. By the way, if you wanna learn anatomy, definitely hit up that website again, sketchingeasy.com. Um, I don't know if they're there yet, but I'm gonna have entire lessons on how to draw a person, like from the anatomy down to like everything. Go take a look at that on um, sketchingeasy.com. I will have it on there eventually, uh, if not right now. So as you're watching this video, as of, as of making this video, it's not up yet, but it will be up soon. So you're gonna have these uh, kind of step-by-step -step lessons on how to draw anything you really want. I mean, mostly like the human body, right? But since it, their anatomy is so close, it's pretty much similar. Curve right here, curve up. Go over here now for the chest. So curve to the chest area. Curve here going on the stomach. Let's go over here to the far end. The hand on the far end over here on the floor, right? Zigzag over here. Let's go over here to the hind leg down. Zigzag over here foot it was like toes right there 
and then the back of the toe right there. And then you can kind of curve up over here. All right. And that's it. That's literally it. That is all of it. That's King Kong versus Godzilla in the Among Us format. The one last thing I want to do. So the one last thing I want to do is, well, first off, you can put the far side foot over there. But what's a better idea is, uh, let me see, zigzag over here. So the far side foot um, would be to throw thicker lines just around the edges of these characters. Just around the edges, nothing too thick, but thick enough. And it's going to highlight them. It's going to make them easier to read on the page, at least. I'm going to put it on the edge, but I decided to do this because it's coming forward. But let me know any other versions of King Kong or Godzilla you want me to like go over how to draw. All right, just continue going around the edge. You always want to be art ready. I've talked about this a lot. You want to be ready for art. So I carry a, ske a little sketchbook everywhere with me. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with him. Just the outer line. Actually, I should do it in the outer line here too. Um, I always carry a sketchbook. You always want to be like, basically, you want to be art ready or at least drawing ready at least. Um, you want to, you know, like, let's just say you're waiting in a waiting room or something like that. You're like, oh, I didn't expect that. I'm going to take out my sketchbook and start drawing. Literally, that's kind of my life. Uh, when I do that, I always carry it with me. Um, you get different versions of it, and obviously accidents could happen. I've lost sketchbooks that way. You just gotta like have like a traveling specific <laughs> sketchbook. Like that traveling specific one will serve you well, right? So that's just something that you should definitely think about. Um, but being art ready is kind of a mantra, so I always like that sort of thing. If you always have it on the mind, uh, it's kind of like, again, you get better through osmosis. You get better because I remember when I was in art school, uh, I got better constantly because I was always around people talking about art. I could see demonstrations that people do in art. I had to do art myself for class. Um, it was just one of the best uh, grow <coughs> growing environments I could ever have. Um, it's kind of hard to replicate that when you come back home and you're like, oh yeah, you're not around those people anymore. You kind of have to create that online. And that's why I, I said, you know, subscribe to a bunch of channels, including my own. Uh, and you're gonna have at least kind of like the feeling of that, that osmosis. Thank you so much. Uh, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in the next video. Remember, stay art ready.